The Macan is based on the Audi Q5, though with a lower roof, and it's the quickest and sportiest version of the Macan Sports crossover range. Inside, there's an abundance of leather and lots of buttons across the dash and console, which can look a bit confusing, but makes sense once you know what's what. The contoured three-spoke steering wheel is the same as on the 918 Spider. There's all sorts of additional options you can go for. A tip for anyone buying, don't go for the 21-inch wheel tyre package. While it looks good, it makes for a less comfortable and noisier ride than the standard 19-inch wheels. They also cost an extra $3,300, and you will also have to pay out more money every time you change the tyres. I enjoyed my couple of days driving this car. I found the raised driving position high, but not too high, combined with sports car performance to my liking. The Macan looks like a scaled down Cayenne and doesn't come cheap, and the turbo costs a third of the price extra over the standard Macan S, yet looks almost identical. The only noticeable difference being the turbo having bi-xenon headlamps, LED fog lights, staggered width wheels, and squared off quad tailpipes. Oh, and of course a turbo badge. But under the hood, the engine is a twin turbocharged 3.6 litre, 400 brake horsepower V6, same as the Panamera. It's faster than the Q5, achieving 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.2 seconds compared to the Audi's 5.2 seconds. There's no crossover that comes even close to this sort of acceleration. 